I have just gotten my Charmy to LR status and I figure a lot of you guys are doing the same right about now. So I figured it would be a good time to talk about how you guys should be setting up this character gear, enhancements, talents, skills, what teams is she good on, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at her skills. I'll explain them to you guys and then we'll get into the different types of gear and stuff like that. So for skill one, it is called Cumulus. It grants the ally with the lowest HP ratio continuous HP recovery equal to 6% of own max HP for two turns. Continuous HP recovery is really, really good because it's going to grant a fixed amount of HP at the start of every turn. And then 45% chance to grant a recovered ally a SP plus one buff. So she also has a chance for any ally that's being healed to uh, increase their special points so they can use their special sooner, which is pretty dang good. And then her second skill, Shaved Ice, grants all allies continuous HP recovery equal to 4.5% of own max HP for two turns. So this is another continuous HP recovery. However, this one is for all allies, whereas skill one was for a single ally. So keep that in mind. And then removes one instance of continuous damage from all allies. So that means like if they're burnt or poisoned or whatever, it will remove that from them. So she removes the status ailment basically, and then grants all allies an increased crit resistance level three buff for two turns. So they are less likely to be hit by crits. So all really, really good stuff. And now when you read these percentages, like 4.5% of own max HP and 6%, you might think that's not a lot, but trust me that is a lot of hp especially when you take into consideration that this one and this one these two skills can stack together so you can be getting healed by both of these skills at the same time and same thing applies for the special skill so the special skill is called barbecue party grants all allies continuous hp recovery equal to 10 percent of own max hp for two turns so obviously the special skill heals the most it is continuous healing over time so you can stack it with the other two grants all allies an increased defense level three buff for two turns so she also increases everybody's defense by one 75% which is a lot and then 45% chance to grant all allies a SP plus one buff so she can also raise uh, allies special skills uh, points with this skill as well so all really 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 solid stuff now the thing I want to point out is back to those percentages 10% it was for that one 4.5% for this one and 6% for the first one. While those may not sound like a lot, that is actually a massive amount of healing if you look at her HP. So my Charmy right now has 82,000 HP. Just to give you reference to like another character, let's look at Noelle. Noelle, I have all LR gear on. Her HP is only 46,000, okay? Now I did have to build this Charmy this way so that she does have that much HP. But basically, if you haven't figured it out yet, the gear that you are going to want to put on Charmy is all HP gear. So if we uh, look right here, you'll notice that I am adding 25,000 HP to Charmy stats just by having gear equipped. Now I don't have any accessories yet. I don't have all LRs on Charmy because I just don't, I haven't farmed out enough LRs yet. And so I know like if you're free to play, you probably won't have LRs either. Don't be afraid to use SSRs, but you need to be using the right gear. So even these SSRs are HP as their primary stat. So every single piece of gear on Charmy here has HP as its primary stat because you want to raise Charmy's HP as much as possible. That way she's doing as much healing as possible. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So make sure when you are gearing Charmy, you put full HP gear on her because that is what's going to allow you to heal your allies the most. Let's talk about her skills and her skill card really quickly. So for Charmy's skills, which one should you upgrade now that we know that, okay? I would honestly recommend upgrading the special skill first because it's going to give you the most HP. Then I would upgrade the secondary skill or skill two next because it's an AOE while it might, might only do 4.5% and this one does 6% on skill one. This one's AOE, so I would upgrade skill two second and then I would upgrade skill one third. And that's pretty straightforward and hopefully that makes sense just because you get more healing from the special skill. Uh, you could also say you wanna do skill two 
before you do skill uh, or your special skill because you can have skill two up more for more healing than you can have your special skill up because you do have to wait for your special skill to come up. So you could go skill two, special skill, skill one. It really just depends on you and what you think is going to be best for you at that point in time. Okay, so do that however you want. And then for her skill page, I have this skill page on her right now. It is her skill page. It's actually fairly decent for her. And some people might look at it and think it's not going to be decent. But what it does is it grants a 10% reduced damage taken if HP is equal to 90% or higher. You might think that that 90% or higher is like a handicap because that's a pretty high percentage. But you have to keep in mind how much Charmy is healing with the continuous stacks. Like, trust me, she's fine, and you'll like that extra reduced damage. Like, that's gonna help you out a lot. So this skill card actually works really, really well on Charmy. But if you're not happy with that, if you're worried about the 90%, there is another skill card that I would recommend running. This is an SSR skill card. There are SRs and rares that do kind of similar things, but I would say this is the best SSR skill card to run on Charmy besides her own card, and that is the Adventurer's Journal. And so what this does is it applies 10 to 20% increased max HP to yourself. Okay, so just increasing her max HP further, thereby giving her more heals. That's pretty straightforward, I feel like. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense in terms of skill cards and what skills to upgrade. And then let's talk about enhancements. Is it worth enhancing Charmy? So if we look at the enhancement levels for enhancement level two, when an ally's turn ends, grants 3% of max HP as HP recovery to the ally with the lowest HP ratio. And then if we were to enhance her all the way, when an ally's turn ends, grants 10% of max HP as HP recovery to the ally with the lowest HP ratio. Uh, hells to the yes, it is absolutely worth it to enhance this Charmy because 10% extra healing uh, at the end of an ally's turn on a in addition to all of her active stacking healing that she does oh my goodness this charmy is a monster when it comes to healing if you build her right she is absolutely insane so yes if you can enhance her go ahead now if you are uh free to play right and oops sorry didn't mean to go there if you are free to play and you are able to get her even to enhancement level two, I would say it is still worth it actually to get Charmy to enhancement level two because you're still at least getting a, an additional 3% healing, which is gonna help you survive in the end and could definitely help you in PVE and even PVP. So that's my thoughts on enhancement. Do what you guys want there. And then last but not least, for the building of Charmy, let's talk about her talents, okay? So the very, the most important one I would say is probably the support slash defense ones. The attack one doesn't really matter because you're not gonna be using Charmy to attack, but you have defense plus 20%, grants defense and crit resistance. You have max HP, which is the one I would go with. You have upon being attacked by a boss, grants fortify, you have crit resist, and you have uh, grants debuff immunity. So I would probably go like this, rotate one up, and keep it like this and i would keep the extra defense the extra crit resist and the extra hp any extra hp you get is going to help you heal uh heal more the other thing i would do is i'd actually rotate this one this way and i would go with this go right here mage's blessing i recommended this for noel as well but i really like this for charmy too because this is going to give a 20 percent chance to grant a reduced skill two cooldown by one turn buff at the start of a turn so what that means is if your skill two comes up a turn quicker you're going to be able to spam the aoe heals more and you're just going to have a ridiculously strong team. So this is actually a really solid buff for Charmy. And then of course you would have damage resist over here just to help keep her alive. And that added onto her skill card is 20% damage resist. Uh, it's really, really good, especially when Charmy has as much health as she has. And then for attack, once again, I wouldn't really worry too much about attack. None of this is going to be too important because Charmy isn't going to be an attacker. So you can really do pretty much whatever you want up here on the talent tree for Charmy. I guess I can save my changes there. And let's talk about a couple of teams that Charmy could potentially fit on for PVP and PVE. So we go over here to manage teams and we go to team four. Let's go ahead and throw Charmy on here. So the very first team is going to be a stall team. So you go Who like Mars, you would probably go, you could go like Lotus for the debuffs. And then uh, the, the other job. character would be 
Rodis, and this is similar to like a Noel team I showed. You could run this same exact team with like Noel and Charmy, so I could actually uh, switch out. Ooh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, so I could actually switch out. Where is Noel? Uh, she's up here. So I could switch out Lotus and Noel. This team would work pretty well as well. You got a lot of defense, the barriers. You got Charmy's healing, which is really annoying. So that works really well. You can run an all mono blue team. So we could switch out back to Lotus and we could switch yes, in for blue Yami. And running an all mono blue team works really well because obviously Charmy's blue and she'll fit into that team. So those are a couple of solid, uh, honestly, PVP or PVE teams. They work for both. So you, got, you could use those. And if you don't have blue Yami, Free to play option if you happen to I I, I shouldn't say free to play option, but uh <laughs> another option, a general pool option. There you go. You could use Jack if you wanted to. He is another blue unit. And for speed, I don't really know that she fits well on a speed team, but you could always Master use like Valtos with Charmy and who could you run with them? You could probably run like mm, you could probably run Noel there. Nobody could probably do something like that friend. if you had to, but I wouldn't recommend that last team. I, I would recommend the teams I said at the start. It's kind of hard to run. I feel like it is kind of hard to run Charmy on a speed team. It's a little bit easier to run Noel because Noel has some of the best speed. So like in the other video where I talked about Noel's teams and stuff like that, uh, you could put Noel on a speed team, but Charmy is a little bit harder. So yeah, because if we look at her speed, she has decent, but it's not the greatest. It's 104. Noel has like base 106. So, and, and even having just like three or four points different in speed makes a, a big difference in the game. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And with that, that is pretty much everything you need to know about Charmy, gearing her, what teams to go on and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Amazing.